All right, so here we have the weights of these red delicious apples. They are approximately normally distributed with the mean of nine ounces and a standard deviation of 0.75 ounces. Not only in gift store, it sells gift boxes containing five red delicious apples. At the time of packaging, five red delicious apples are randomly selected and packaged into a box. Describe the distribution of the total weight of the five randomly selected apples. Okay, so um, so this is basically a, a, a sum of random variables. So um, we can say like the we can say that y will be like represent five randomly selected you know apples. We can say it's you know, x one plus x two x three plus x four plus x five. So x, the x values are represent um, the weights of a randomly selected apple. So if we want to find the sum of of this, we, you know, we add them up. But we want to find the mean of y, mu sub y. That will just be the mean of x1 plus the mean of x2 plus the mean of x3 plus the mean of x4 plus the mean of x5. So it's essentially just um, 5 times 9 because each these have made of nine. You see, all the mean will be forty-five ounces. Now we figure out the standard deviation. So, um, to find a standard deviation, we're going to need to go back to the variance. So, let's remember that the variance is essentially the standard deviation squared. So the variance of y is the standard deviation of y squared. So if we want to find um, the standard deviation of y, we need to first find the variance, then we just take the square root of it. So this does, the variance of y is going to be the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2 plus the variance of x3 and so forth. So the variance of x1, let's all label like this, plus the variance of x2, da da da, all the variance of x5. So the variances are, you know, just a standard deviation squared, and all those have standard deviations of 0.75. So it's just going to be 0.75 squared plus 0.75 squared plus 0.75 squared. So it's just 5 times 0.75 squared. So let's see what that is. So squared times 2.815 or 2.8125. Now this is the goal. This will give you the variance of y. So the standard deviation. Take the square root of the variance, square root of 2.8125, about 1.68. We're going to describe the distribution of this total weight of the five randomly selected apples. We would say it's approximately normal. With mean mu sub y equal to 45 ounces, and standard deviation about 1.68 ounces. Make sure you show your work clearly when you're working these problems out. On this, which is why I you know went through it, you know by using proper notation because they will mark they will mark you down um, if you don't use the proper notation like for standard deviation or variance within the problem. So don't write something um, unless you're sure it's right. You know, so don't you know try to make your um, work look don't basically don't do extra work if you don't need to.
case, part B, what's the probability that the total weight of five, the five randomly selected apples will be less than 42 ounces? So um, you're essentially trying to find the probability that Y is less than or equal to 42. And again, this is approximately normal. It's not a very good normal curve. It's approximately normal with the mean of, we just found it, the mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 1.68. So the mean will probably be 45 somewhere over here, so it's probably the area to the left of that value. So for this, we can use our calculator. So Remember, we're going from the area to the left, so negative infinity to 42. So we're going to go to distribution, our calculator, go to normal CDF. It's going to be lower bound first, so negative infinity or negative like 10,000 or 100,000, comma, upper bound, so 42, comma, then the mean, which is 45, comma, then the standard deviation. And that's syntax. If you have a, like a more um, Later version or advanced, more advanced calculator, it's usually easier to answer this because it, it, um, it, it tells you where to put standard deviation, lower bound, and upper bound for that. And this will give us a, a probability of about 0 0.037. Right now, part C, the combined weight of the packing material and box in which the apples will be shipped is always 10 ounces. Let W represent the weight of the complete package gift, gift box, which consists of the packing material box, the packing material, the box, and then the five randomly selected apples. What are the means and of W? Okay, so I want to find the mean of W the standard deviation of W. Okay, so here's the thing. This is this is kind of like the this is a sketchy, like tricky problem, like how they word it. It says it says here that the packet material box is always gonna weigh ten ounces. So if the um, if it's always going to weigh ten ounces, then the the um, the mean will be ten because there's no there's no change. It's always going to be ten. The mean will be ten. So let's say let's say the box is like B. So the mean of the box so the plus the mean of the plus the mean of Y. So the total weight of the of everything will be the mean, will be total total the mean of W will be the mean of the box and packing material plus the mean of Y. So again, it says that the packing material box is always going to be ten ounces. So the mean of the box will be just ten. So it never it never changes. The mean that we the mean of Y which we found earlier was forty five. 10 plus 45, so the mean of W will be 55 ounces. Now the standard deviation of W, so that'll be equal to the, well then to find the standard deviation of W, we're gonna have to find the variance of W, and then take the square root of that. So, so the variance of W will be equal to the variance of B plus the variance of Y, all, all square rooted. Now, we already know what the variance of Y is because we already found it earlier. We found it to be um, 2.8125 and the standard deviation of Y is 1.68. Now the variance of the box and the packing material, so the variance of B. 
again, it says it's always going to be 10 ounces. So if it's always 10 ounces, there is not going to be any variation in the weight. So the variance will actually be zero. Because remember, vari variance um, describes, or variance and standard deviation describes um, spread, how spread out a, um, a distribution of values are. So this will just be the square root of zero plus, which we found earlier, to be 2.8125. But you don't even have to do any more work because you know we know it's going to be the same thing. So it's the variance, so the standard deviation of w is the same as the standard deviation of y. So it's gonna get, it's going to again be 1.6 ounces. So this one's a, like a trick problem. Again, you gotta be very careful because with these free response problems, um, you'll you'll if you're doing them right, you're not gonna need a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of thinking. You gotta really take time to step to step away and just think about what the problem is. You know, getting at. You shouldn't be like writing a whole bunch of you know, crap as you, you know, work through these problems. All right, so that's it for that one.